Hello, my name is Matthew Bradley, and I'm the team lead for Team 6, and here is our Sarah's Sample Return Mission. In this slide, we have a picture of our team from the left to the right, starting with Matthew Bradley, A.U. Serene, Andrew Nieto, David Lofala, Abram Gobriel, and Nate Falkenberg. Here is a quick glance and an outline of our mission presentation, starting with the mission overview, followed by introduction and background information about SARAS, followed by modeling assumption and rocket trait study. We will also go over some of the technical calculations and analysis and sampling missions, finishing off with the overall mission final design and summary. This slide shows how we were able to meet all of our mission requirements and objectives. Ceres is a dwarf planet which lies between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter and is considered to be one of the most interesting objects in the solar system. One main question we should ask is why we are interested in Ceres. Well, Ceres appears to be differentiated into a rocky core and an icy mantle and may have a remnant internal ocean of liquid water under the layer of ice. It is also estimated to comprise approximately one third of the mass of the entire asteroid belt. Ceres is also known to be the only object in the asteroid belt to be rounded by its own gravity. In January 2014, emissions of water vapor were detected from several regions of Ceres, which makes us interested in knowing the core of the dwarf planet. In this slide, we have some of the Ceres physical and orbital characteristics, such as the eccentricity, mean radius, inclination, mean mass, mean density, and volume. For this project, we have used several tools and applications, including, but not limited to, NASA, JPL's websites, where we use the JPL's horizon system to access the orbit for Ceres and also figure out the launch vehicle services, the rocket C3 versus mass allowed data. We have also used AI Solutions FreeFlyer for orbit validation, future mission visualization, graphics, and also make sure our calculations and assumptions were correct. And one of the main applications that we use is the MathWorks MATLAB for Lambert, pork chop plots, and orbital parameters. In this slide, we show you a list of our modeling assumptions that we use to complete this project. Now here, we have the rocket trait study between the Falcon Heavy and the Atlas V 551, with some important parameters to consider. Our team has decided and picked the Falcon Heavy for our mission, since it's the most suitable spacecraft that can handle all of the mission requirements, including the payload, dry mass, and C3. The pork chop plot generated through MATLAB utilizing our Lambert solver was able to generate an ideal departure and arrival date, allowing for a maximum deliverable mass of 7,563 kilograms. Here you can see the brief view of our mission trajectory starting from Earth and arriving at the Ceres sphere of influence generated by FreeFlyer. After reaching the Ceres sphere of influence, we circularized our space vehicle at a 50 kilometer altitude orbit around Ceres by means of an onboard propulsion system. That circular orbit is located at near polar sun synchronous orbit around Ceres. We then use the onboard propulsion system to reach a velocity of zero at the polar sun synchronous orbit, thus utilizing freefall mechanics to land on the surface of Ceres. To sustain the safe landing, we found out we will need a suspension system to sufficiently dampen approximately 1800 newtons of force on impact, which should be attached to our payload to ensure a safe landing. After landing on Ceres, we will have a rover, powered electrically and by solar, to collect the samples from Ceres at different locations. The rover has a speed of 0.14 kilometers per hour and can easily cover almost 1,300 miles per year. Through the pork chop plots in MATLAB, we were able to find our launch and departure dates from Ceres. Our departure date was March 8, 2040, 
arrival date was June 11, 2041, for a total time of flight of 490 days. The final mass delivered upon Earth re-entry is 2,304 kilograms, which falls within their mission requirements. Now here is a visual representation generated by FreeFlyer that shows our return orbit back to Earth from Ceres. Through MATLAB, we are able to calculate all our Delta Vs required for the mission. Our Delta V1 of 6.2537 kilometers a second was required to enter a transfer orbit from Earth to Ceres. Our Delta V2 of 5.9135 kilometers per second is required to circularize a 50 kilometer orbit around Ceres. Our Delta V3 of 0.3461 kilometers per second is required to descend to Ceres's surface. Our delta V4 of 6.0618 kilometers per second is required to enter the transfer orbit from Ceres to Earth. Now the majority of our calculations for delta V, total mass, V infinity, and the force of impact were done through MATLAB. FreeFlyer was used to plot our trajectories that are possible with the departure date and the time of flight, and we are assumed to be in a circular near-polar sun-synchronous orbit after transfer from Earth to Ceres. Now our final design could be summarized in three parts, the trip to Ceres, the rover mission, and the return to Earth. We start with our launch vehicle, the Falcon Heavy. We launch from the Kennedy Space Center on June 3rd, 2034 and we arrive at Ceres December 5th, 2035. Our rover mission would start at the landing site reconnaissance on December 6th, 2035. The mass of the rover is 900 kilograms and the rover's speed is 0.14 kilometers per hour. The mission of the rover is to collect samples from the main bright spot and travel away from the landing site to collect other samples for comparison. This will go from December 6th, 2035 to February 10th, 2037. The rover is powered by solar electric systems with a speed of 0.14 kilometers per hour. This will allow the rover to travel for 1226.4 kilometers in a year to pick up different samples. Then it will have a return trip to the landing site from February 11th, 2037 to May 15th, 2038. Then the spacecraft will be using a bipropellant propulsion system to leave Ceres and arrive at Earth. Our departure date would be March 8th, 2040. Our arrival date will be June 11th, 2041. Our delta V going into Earth is 5.865 kilometers per second re-entry, giving us a safe Earth re-entry. The total mission length will be approximately around seven years and eight days, or 2,565 days. Now here is a summary of our Ceres sample return mission. We would first send a spacecraft from Earth to rendezvous with Ceres. The spacecraft will be placed on a near-polar sun-synchronous orbit around Ceres to perform landing site reconnaissance. A lander will then land on the surface of Ceres to retrieve a sample on the surface. A rover will retrieve samples at different locations on Ceres. Finally, this sample will be returned to Earth. Launch from Earth will be between 2025 and 2035, with an entire mission duration less than 15 years. The V infinity at the Earth's sphere of influence of the return trajectory will be less than 10 kilometers per second to ensure a feasible Earth entry trajectory. Our spacecraft will have a dry mass of 2100 kilograms, including the return capsule and the rover. Now the following slides contain samples of our MATLAB and FreeFlyer code used to conduct our mission.